And welcome back to RFD TV Live with uh, Agritain. Tonight, our guests have been telling us about the time savings, efficiencies that farmers can gain from surface supplying Agritain treated fertilizer. We want to hear from you with your questions. Call us now at toll free 877 731 6733. We'll have that number up several times. Telephone lines are open now. Craig Fenstermaker uh, with New Leader out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It's great to have you here. And I uh, want to talk uh, before we take our telephone calls here about some new equipment uh, that you're involved with there at in the differentiating differentiating factors here that you might share with our viewers sure will the g4 series spreaders that we have today the broadcast system was introduced in 2000 and at that time that changed the whole process of how broad product was dispensed to the spinners and how product was actually dispensed uh, previously uh, from the flow of product from the conveyor to the spinners was a variable and today that is a fixed uh, delivery point so that no matter what speed we're running at a five mile an hour to a 15 or 20 mile an hour speed that delivery point is consistent the other change was the broadcast system itself that is what's now adjustable allowing us to adjust to the varying products that we have that we're broadcasting across north america products that we're broadcasting vary from 180 mesh product to a 360 sgn and with that variation of products the larger the product the harder the product, the wider we have the ability to spread. So with the ability to adjust that spinner frame or the, the broadcast uh, system allows us to match the speeds, the rates, and the as you increase speeds, the amount of mass that's dispensed onto the spinners takes more horsepower. And with the design of the spreader, with hydraulic uh, availability and electronics of the system, the electronics give us repeatability and consistency in what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Taking those product or taking that system <clears throat> and adding to it the products we have today of Agritain treated ureas and Super U it allows us to broadcast much wider. To get a better understanding of the variation of products, <clears throat> recently we introduced a, a, a test kit for the operators. Good. The test kit, uh, what we call an SGN hardness test kit. Well, for SGN, just for again keeping our viewers up here, what we make sure we understand yes. what. SGN is size grade number. Very good. It's the actual size of the product in millimeters of what it really would be. And what we, we have is an SGN scale or uh, sieve that allows us to put a sample of product in, uh, opening up the top of the container, uh, putting a sample of product into it, and then able to sift the product. And with a series of the screens, I guess, for lack of a better term for me, that you have in there. Correct. There is a series of screens from the 120 mesh all the way up to a 400 mesh mm -hmm. or SGN size. And when you've taken the sample of product and put in, you can shake it until it separates the products out. It gives you an average of what that uniformity is of the product. In this case, this is Agritain coated ureas and we're at about a 340 to 360 uh, granule size, which is excellent. That's, I was gonna say that you're glad to see that Right. In that second bin there, I guess I'm going to call Correct. it. Correct. From, the testing, from the testing that we've done, the smaller the granule, the less energy is there to be able to broadcast that product. Oh, that makes sense. Not only the size of the granule, but the hardness of the granule. So what we came with is a hardness tester that allows you to take a sample of the granules and with a sliding scale allows you to depress on top of the granule until it crushes. Until it crushes. Once it crushes, it gives you an indicator of how hard that product really is. In the documentation or the instructional manual that we have with the kit, gives you the parameters that a 340 mesh product gives you the ability to broadcast at a 90 foot spread width. But taking Super U, for example, which is a six to eight on hardness, allows us to apply a little more energy, more spinner speed, which allows us to increase that spread width without pulverization. Mm -hmm. By increasing the spinner speed, we also increase the ballistics of the product as it's being broadcast, so we have less wind effect or a little wind effect to the profile and pattern. So giving the tools to our operators and the growers to better understand their product and the capabilities, this allows them to take their product and if they can increase their spread widths, that increases their productivity and their overall efficiencies of their operation as well. Uh, just what would be when you when you when you crush the granule? What is there a number you're looking for there as well? What we're looking for straight urea typically will range from a one and a half to a three on hardness. 
Knowing that there and the design of our system, we know that if you exceed a 700 RPM spinner speed, you'll start to pulverize the product. So if we can test the product and know that it's a five, six, or, or greater on hardness, uh -huh. we know that we can put more energy More to energy it. into that. It's more it, energy without pulverization. Yeah. The more speed you put to the product, the wider the spread width. So it allows us to gauge the product in size and hardness, allows us to determine from the documentation that comes with the kit on how much wider or the potential of width we can achieve with those products.